Welcome to the DC Flex Digital Controller Setup and Operation Tutorial. The DC Flex features an industrial grade dual setpoint digital thermostat for measuring ambient temperatures, a temperature control power indicator light, a heat cable power on indicator light, and a three position rocker switch. Let's focus in on the switch first of all. In the center position on the rocker switch, uh, the unit will be off. In the lower position or max position, the unit will be on regardless of ambient temperature. And the auto position or eco position uh, measures temperature through the temp controller and that is in the upper position. The industrial grade temp controller features a set button that allows for cycling through the set values on the controller. An up arrow, which allows for the settings to be ascended or raised, and then a down button, which allows for the set values to be descended or lowered. The DC Flex digital controller operates at 208 through 240 volts AC. It can control up to four separate circuits at a maximum of 30 amps per circuit. It's a UL508A uh, certified industrial grade panel. It's a, actually a double two circuit panel where circuits two and four are delayed uh, to minimize startup current impact. Now let's take a look at the max setting on the controller. So first of all, the rocker switch will be in the down position. The temp controller will not be energized and there will be no indicator light, but the heat cable power on indicator will light up uh, indicating that power is being sent to the heat cables. The max setting is perfect for pre-season testing or manual on-off operation. The eco setting on the DC Flex digital controller is our automated control. When the switch is in the up position or the eco position, the temp controller will be energized and will be reading ambient or outside temperature. The temperature control indicator light it will be lit as well. And when temps are within the set point values, the heat cable power on indicator light will be uh, lit up as well, indicating that power is being sent to the heat cables and the system is functioning. Let's look at the high temp and low temp adjustments on the DC Flex. So first of all, the high temp adjustment, completely field adjustable. It comes factory set at 39F and you can reach that by hitting the set button once, it'll flash. You'll also see that little red indicator light underneath uh, out one. Uh, once that's displayed, you can arrow up or arrow down uh, on that. There's also a four degree hysteresis built in uh, here. And that means that the cables are energized when temps fall below 35F and are off when temps rise above 39F. Now we also have uh, the low temp cutout or the temperature at which uh, it turns off when it falls below. Again, field adjustable on this low temp uh, cutout. And you reach that from this out one, you would hit the set button again and you'd reach out two. You see the little red indicator light uh, underneath out two. And what that allows for then is having uh, a low temp uh, cutout. There's also uh, a four degree hysteresis. And that means that when heat cables uh, when the temperature falls below 5F, the heat cables are off. When it rises above 9F, the heat cables are on. Now, if you don't want to have the low temp cutout uh, feature enabled, you would simply dial that out to or that low temp cutout uh, all the way down using the down arrow to negative 40 or all the way down to negative 99 if you prefer, and that will disable that low temp cutout setting. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, we'll keep you up to date, and if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below.